We went to New York City late October to go and do, we do a European tour every other year. And uh, it's around, the, I think around the 28th of October. But we had three days in New York and we'd done the video. And, I, and it was such a, in my little world, compared to the big world, it was, um, it was just getting so much attention. And I said, let's do a video, stick it out, give it away free. If people want it, they'll see it. I did Weed with Willie, and it was a big smash on its own in my world, but not at Radio Video. I said, let's do a video, stick the thing out, bring some buddies in, take your cell phone camera, Larry Bird, and, and uh, Carrot Top, and Roger Clemens, you got, and just give me five seconds of you doing something stupid, Red Soul Cup, send it in, they did. We threw the thing on the video, on the uh, virally on the internet, and 17 million hits, and ACM later we got the award, but it's more about just knowing your audience and saying, if I package this up, put a bow on it, hand it to radio video, it would have been more like, you got to be kidding me. You know, this, this isn't a totally key thing going with. And uh, it's like, if you want it to be your idea, be it, but I want, I want people to have a chance to hear the song because it, it works really well live for me, and I have to take care of my brand too, you know. What was your impression of the final video? I'm sorry. When you saw all the people, all your friends in one spot. What it looked like it did tonight out there on the stage. It was just a big... <laughs> and that's the way it was, you know. The Warren Brothers said uh, they weren't convinced until about halfway through the video shoot that we were really shooting the video. They thought we were doing an episode of Pump. <laughs> <laughs> they were going, all right, what point are you going to tell us this is fake? Because they, you know, you, you got guys that work their butt off all, your, all their life to try to get a song cut, and then you get this far, and they think that, you know, you're... You've got them over there and set a big deal of pump the Warner Brothers. They really were hesitant and reluctant about buying into the thing until we got about halfway through the video. And then they finally said, oh, this is real deal. They're like, cool, high five. They were like all excited. Can you just talk about, when we first talked to you about this song, you called it the stupidest song you'd ever heard. And now, I mean, it's kind of a song that has been around for a long time. Yeah. And it's been around for a long time. Allowed you to have so much fun and to do an irreverent performance like that on the show and just the energy that it's creating and the fun atmosphere that it's brought into your career at this point. Can you just talk about that energy of the song? Well, there's, we've had a lot of chances in 17 years to do what we've done this year with Red Solo Cup. Um, we never had the internet a lot. Half, the, half my career we didn't have a big internet thing. And the other half, we were trying to learn how to use it to your advantage to save your brand. But um, I, I promise you, I knew with Weed with Willie, it was never a single, it was an album cut. I had three big number ones on the same album. When I came out that year for tour, I had Scott Emmerich with me and I said, let's do Weed with Willie, because we'd done it on his 70th birthday party and some other things that got a lot of attention. Started playing it, well, everybody in the audience knew it. So when you've got 20,000 people every night singing it word for word, I go, how, how can the masses know it? And, and it's never been on the radio. And there's gotta be something to grab there. So I knew I was gonna get the same thing with this. And I just, I said, let's just give it away free and put it out that people want to see it. They can pass it around. Here's the link. You guys go for it. And and I came out. Fourth night in uh, Europe, fourth night in Europe, I walk out and there's probably 60 red solo cups down front and they don't even sell them in Europe. <laughs> and I said, where, where'd you people get them? And they go, we got them on the internet, brother. And, they, and, and it was 10 days old. The song was literally 10, but it was growing in leaps and bounds. And, you know, once in a while you rope a big steer like that and, and just hang on and ride it. And, uh, uh, I'm really honored. Michael uh, Solomon has directed all of my videos, four truck commercials. He did my Beer from the Horses movie. He has been uh, my, he got me early on and said, I can, uh, I mean, I want a gazillion of these video things. And it's all been through our annex and showing the personality and having fun and letting that leaked through videos and he's done as good a job at videos as anybody who's done producing music for me and, uh, and my hat's off to him. I wish he was here tonight to hug his neck but Michael Solomon really gets me and presents me and my videos with the fans really connect.